Hi, this is Jack Lipton, and, and this is Critical Materials Corner. And I'm Byron King, and I've been following uh, rare earths and minerals for many, many years. And today we're going to talk about uh, a monazite, which is a, one of the most important minerals out there when it comes to the rare earth space. These are the things you need to know. And today we have a very special guest, Fred Kozak, who runs a company called Appia Rare Earths and Uranium, located in Saskatchewan. And it's one of the hottest uh, rare earth deposits you will ever see anywhere. And it's totally investable. Gentlemen, thank you for having me on the show today. I, I appreciate the opportunity to talk about Appia's rare earth deposit in monazite, critical materials corner. Monazite has always been the most desirable ore of rare earths. It's, it reports as the highest grade material. So naturally that's the one you want to work. However, it's radioactive. It always has been. Thorium is always included in, in the monazite composition. And usually you find uranium. So people have been putting it on the back burner. Recently, the Chinese started buying monazite like crazy all over the world. They licensed China Nuclear, so what? China Nuclear, the only site in Asia that can handle uranium and thorium. Uranium is a payable. You make money selling uranium. Thorium can be stored only in a legal facility. In China, that's China Nuclear. So China Nuclear is licensed to buy 30,000 tons of rare earth contained and up to 50,000 tons of monazite per year. So what's going on? We're sitting around here with our thumbs up, you know, where and saying, gee, you can't do that. It's radioactive. Guess what? Of course you can do it. We've been mining uranium here for, for generate. Canada is America's number two supplier of, of uranium. So we can't do it. Where is it? Saskatchewan. Where is that? The Athabasca Basin, most famous uranium deposit in North America in Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan the most mining-friendly jurisdiction in North America. I think it's number one or two in the world. Let me, let me jump in here, uh, Jack. Thank, thanks. I, um, let me just amplify something that you said. Geologically, geologically speaking, I'm not going to give a big geology lesson, but this is what you need to know, Geology 101 on monocyte. When rocks metamorphose and when they melt or when they enter, the very, very, very last thing that happens is these little exotic elements are all left and they haven't formed any of the other minerals. And you wind up with these monazite, these deposits with monazite in them. We're talking about this stuff like it's common. It's not. It is very rare to find a, a, a monazite deposit. And it is extremely rare to find a really, really good monazite deposit. And that is why I like Appia, because it has found this incredible geological phenomenon. You know, there might be a few others in the world in Antarctica or in the remote mountains of the Himalayas or something, I don't know. But, but we found one in Saskatchewan and that's where we're at right now. And, uh, and you've got the grade and you've got the scope, you've got the minerals, and, and it is a very underappreciated story in my humble opinion. Okay. I would just add uh, to what you have both said, thank you gentlemen, sorry to cut you off, is that the rare earths, uh, at this point in the world, we can only supply the current demand for rare earth elements. So everything that's being made right now, there's no extra. What is critical here, and no pun intended, what is critical here to note is that monazite, as compared to basnesite, has almost 50% more rare earth elements in it of, and the critical rare earth elements, the ones that we need for the metals and magnets. So that's why this monazite deposit on a pound per pound basis is, is, is so important to the production of rare earth materials. And it's a big deposit. It's very rich in minerals. These particular minerals have the elements 
that are that that the, the pay. They have the magnet elements, the and, the, the and light bulb general, elements, the things that people need. And that's, that, please, that's where we're at. It's also in the right place. Not only not only is Saskatchewan easily accessible everywhere, it happens to be the one place in in North America where uranium and thorium are considered to be like milk and honey. It's just, you know, that's the best thing we've got. So Appia is ideally sited. It may have a deposit that's world-class and it's ready to go. It's because even the government of Saskatchewan, rather than talking about it like some national governments, is actually doing something. They're going to extract your, your rares. They're going to process them downstream. I mean, it can't, it couldn't get better. So we people need to understand that Appia is the future. Okay, well, that's it for today. Uh, Frederick, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, this has been a great discussion on Monazite and on Appia, and uh, we wish you the best. And investors out there, uh, if you want the best, you should really take a good hard look at Appia. Thanks, Byron. This has been a great opportunity, and we're very excited about our monazite deposit in northern Saskatchewan. Hey, thanks, thanks to everybody. We're going away right now, but monazite is not. Keep that in mind.